my goodness, what is this? Quick review on everything. So lately, I've been thinking about where I wanna live after dental school. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jody, and I film mukbang videos. And today I have something super duper exciting. I have the wings of sandwiches. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. I've been watching so many videos and I'm honestly just so excited to do this. Okay, so I have here voodoo fries. So I've actually never had voodoo fries before, but I'm gonna like them because it's pretty much just like ranch cheese sauce and seasoning. Okay, let me get all this set up really quickly. Give me one second. We got the cheese fries. I got three different types of sandwiches. Yes, I went big. And I watched so many videos and I tried to choose the ones that I really, really wanted to try. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is not what I got. Okay, whatever. So I thought, here, let me just pull these up. Okay, they wanna, I knew this was gonna happen, but you know what, it's busy. It is what it is. It is what it is. I did not get the original hot. What is this? This is not what I got, but you know what? We are gonna work with what we have. Okay. I'm honestly so sad because I really, really wanted to try the honey hot and they freaking gave me an original. Oh, I mean original hot. Babe, did you get a honey hot? It is what it is. I did not get my honey hot and that's literally the one i wanted to try and i knew this was gonna happen and i'm so annoyed because i'm whatever okay okay let's just try this out all right first bite i'm gonna try it with a bite and then i mean without the sauce and then with the sauce so i believe this one is lemon pepper and everybody already knows that lemon pepper is gonna be freaking amazing, right? Because Wingstop is known for their lemon pepper. And then it has a little too cute, some a couple cute little pickles. Oh my god. Wow. Really, really good. Mmm. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> the lemon pepper is really good. Even without the sauce. Mmm. The chicken is really, really tender. Oh my god. Okay. The lemon pepper one's really, really good. I would do this, I don't have napkins. So, I got my fork. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not the honey hot, right? Because it's like red. This is the original hot. But, let's see. Yeah, this is the original hot. I will have to try the honey hot another time. But it's still really, really good. We stop has their chicken down. And the bun is really good. From all the videos I was watching, I didn't think it was gonna be that good. But the people's reactions 
we're always like, oh my god, they're so, it's so good. So, and they're right, it's, it's really, really good. Mmm. Okay, so I was really, really curious about this one. Oh my, okay. So I was really curious on the garlic parm. This is the garlic one. Mmm, yes, it's good. A very strong garlicky flavor. And what I really liked what they did was that they like put some sauce I think they put some of like the chicken seasoning, dry sauce, whatever, on the bun. So it's really good. I'm so sad I don't have the honey hot one. But I feel like it's just so busy right now. All I'm thinking in my head, I'm just like... I wish I had asked. I had a feeling. I was gonna, I wanted to check the order. If you guys are going to Wingstop right now, check the order. It's so busy. They're gonna mess up. But yeah, out of all of them, I really wanted to try the Honey Hot. I haven't even tried their chicken wings. I really wanna try the Honey Hot. And then I wanna try the lemon pepper and the garlic. And the lemon pepper and the garlic are so good. The original hot is all right. It's so good though, because the chicken's good. But out of all of them, lemon pepper is the best one. Super duper good. I didn't know how like a lemon flavored sandwich was going to taste, but it works. It's really, really good. So lately, I've been thinking about where I want to live after dental school. I have like a lot of ideas. So I'm originally from California and I would really, really like to go back to my hometown. But the only thing is with my hometown. It's really small. It's really hard to like get to places because it's such a small town. There's only like one major freeway to get to like over the hill and get to all of the like valley stuff. Um, so there's that. I really want to go back to my hometown. Another place that I wouldn't mind going to either is Sacramento. Sacramento is where my fiance is from. And that's where I lived um, a majority of my, like, 20s. Because I went to East Davis for undergrad. And then after I graduated, I stayed in this little town called Woodland. And I was just trying to, like, figure out my life. I couldn't get into dental school right away because my grades were not good. Um, 
So I was living in Woodland for like four years or so. And then I got into a master's program. So I lived in Davis for four years and then lived in Woodland for another four years. So I was like in that area for eight years. And in Woodland is where I met my fiance. But um, I was there for like eight years, really, really liked Sacramento, really got used to it. Um, it, it, like a lot of the stuff that I like, like all the Asian restaurants and things like that are more accessible than Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is just like a really small town, but, um, there's more stuff now in Santa Cruz, I think, but I wouldn't mind moving to Sacramento. So first place is Santa Cruz because I want to go back home. I want to be with close to my family, (sighs) mainly just want to be close to my dad. And then second option is Sacramento. Because I've been there before. So a lot of stuff available there. The third place I want to go to is Los Angeles. Or SoCal. I only lived there for two years. And it's literally... I don't know if because during that time I was just like about to go to dental school. And it was just like a happy time. Like honeymoon phase. But like I think some of my best times was in L.A. Because everything is just so chill. Like, the vibe there is just so nice. Um, I like how there's a bunch of Asians there. I used to work at a restaurant called Ding Tai Fung. So there's tons of Chinese people there. It's so diverse. And I really like that. <clears throat> like, I remember being in L.A. and feeling like I was in Taiwan. Because of my surroundings. And because there's just so many people. I'm speaking in Chinese. The lemon pepper is the best. Lemon pepper is the best. I'm going to try to save some of this for chili. But we will see. And I'm really lucky to have a job where I can just like kind of live anywhere. Or not live anywhere, but um, a lot of places like need dentists. So... When the time comes, I will need to figure out where we're going to go. I'm getting pretty full. Quick review on everything, okay? I'm so disappointed in Wingstop for not giving me my honey hot, but it's okay. I get it. It's busy. Out of all the sandwiches I got, the lemon pepper, garlic, original hot, I would rank it. Number one is lemon pepper. This one is so good. I would finish this right now, but I'm going to say it for my fiance. But the lemon pepper one is so good. I was a little bit hesitant. I'm like, lemon in a sandwich? I don't know. It works because it's lemon and buttery. So it works really, really well. Second place has to go with the garlic one. I don't know if I would go again and get this. Um, Out of the three, this is definitely my second place winner. But um, it's really, really good if you like garlic and if you don't like like lemon or anything like that. I really like this one. Really good. Third place is going to be the original hot. I definitely would not go out of my way just to get the sandwich. No way. Um, But it's good. Like either way, you're going to get a good chicken because all the chickens are good. Here, let me try this bite one more time. Yeah. I'm not really a big fan of buffalo. Usually when I get Wingstop, I always get their bone-in, half lemon pepper, and half mango habanero. The mango habanero, I'm still kind of like, it's, it's really good considering like, I like the mango habanero and the lemon pepper and the fries. I wouldn't just go and get mango habanero wings. But anyways, um... This one is definitely, I would not get this one again, but it's good if you like buffalo, but I personally would not get this one again. If I were to go back, I would get the lemon pepper again by itself. That's the only one out of the three. The garlic one is good too, but I wouldn't just get this one. 
I feel like the lemon pepper works better than just like a really garlicky breaded chicken. And then the voodoo fries. So I love, so Wingstop is literally my favorite restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants, because I love the chicken wings, the fries, the ranch, the ketchup with my fries. The voodoo fries, maybe because I didn't have it with ketchup, but you know, it's literally just some cheese sauce and some ranch and some Cajun seasoning. I don't think I'm a fan of the Cajun seasoning, but it's cool. I think next time, if I were to get this again, I would just get regular fries and just drench it with ranch. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a really good weekend. I hope you guys have a really good day. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and look out for my next video.